Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sukrit Singhal and welcome back to my channel. I'm currently pursuing my MD in Respiratory Medicine from Vallabhai Patel Chest Institute and many of you have messaged me asking about this branch. So in this video, we'll be talking about the pros and cons of respiratory medicine and is it the right branch for you. Just like we know that many colleges in India do not offer a separate posting in respiratory medicine and even in internship, there's no separate posting in respiratory medicine. So kids are a little clueless about what this branch is and what it has to offer. So in this video, I'll be clearing all your doubts about respiratory medicine and I'll help you make a better decision of whether this branch is for you or not. So let's begin. Talk about the positive points first. First positive point for respiratory medicine is the huge caseload of pulmonary cases in India. The three main diseases being COPD, asthma and tuberculosis. The COPD and asthma cases in India are approximately 40 million and the number is rising every year due to the environmental and personal factors. Tuberculosis, as we all know, there are approximately 2 to 3 million new cases every year and the number is not slowing down. But these are just not the only cases. Other respiratory diseases like bronchitis, fungal diseases, interstitial lung diseases and autoimmune respiratory disease are also on the rise. And even in my own hospital, we diagnose many of them on a daily basis and the number is rising slowly and steadily. So the demand for pulmonologists is huge. And after COVID, People have started taking pulmonology and their lung health more seriously and they have started consulting pulmonologists directly instead of going to other doctors first. So that's your first pro point being a huge caseload of pulmonology. The second plus point in favor of respiratory medicine is the wide disease spectrum. In respiratory medicine, we treat respiratory cases, that's for sure. But even in respiratory cases, the variety is huge like COPD, asthma and TB. These are the three main cases you'll treat, but also you'll treat interstitial lung diseases, hemothorax, pneumothorax, empyema, bronchitis, autoimmune diseases and many more. But apart from respiratory cases, this residency also offers you an insight about sleep medicine, allergy medicine and critical care. ICU is a huge part of respiratory medicine residency and in my own hospital, we do one full year in ICU. So you not only learn how to handle respiratory cases, but you also learn how to handle an ICU efficiently and manage critical cases as well. The third plus point for respiratory medicine residency are the interventions. Bronchoscopy is your bread and butter interventions. And as you know, interventions give you a huge potential in boosting your income. So there are many various interventions you can do in respiratory medicine, like ICD insertions, pleural tapping, FNEC, bronchoscopy, EBUS, cryobiopsy, and CT and ultrasound guided biopsies as well. So this will give you a huge income boost in future and will set you apart from the others. So that's a major plus point that interventions are in pulmonary medicine and you can do them just after your MD. You don't have to do DM compulsorily for the interventions. The fourth plus point of pulmonary medicine is the wide variety of options it has for you after you complete your residency. First is you can do DM. There are a variety of DM options for you to follow after respiratory medicine like a DM cardiology. You can become a cardiologist. There is a DM critical care. You can handle ICUs very well and you can even set up your own ICU care and critical care facilities. There is DM infectious diseases and as you know infectious diseases is on the rise in India. So that's a good option and DM pulmonology as we all know. After that you can become a pulmonologist and open your own clinic or become a consultant pulmonologist in private setup. And also if you like academic or research purposes, you can become a, a professor in government setup as well. But apart from DM, there are other options as well, which being fellowships. You can do fellowship in interventional pulmonology and have a huge income boost in interventions. Also the sleep and allergy medicine awareness in India is rising and you can do interventions in these and become a sleep medicine specialist or allergy specialist. So as you can see, you are not just limited to pulmonology, but you have other career options as well. You just have to find your own path and this branch, respiratory medicine, offers you many different paths to take. The fifth positive point for this branch is that it is an end specialty. I know that slowly the need for DM is increasing, but it is increasing mainly in tier 1 cities and in big corporate hospitals. In tier 2 and tier 3 cities and other small private hospitals, still the need for pulmonologists is there and you can easily get a job as an MD pulmonary medicine or DNB pulmonary medicine after your residency is done. Also, you get to open your own specialty clinic early on in your life, just after three years of residency and have a huge career growth ahead. So it is also a plus point for this branch. The sixth positive point, and it is a personal point for me, is the satisfaction you get because the respiratory diseases are chronic diseases and it is one of the worst feeling to feel out of breath and breathlessness and experiencing that you're not able to breathe. So when you finally treat the patient and the patient says, thank you Dr. Akhri, I have a I finally feel alive. Then it feels rewarding and it is a very nice moment at that time. And you feel happy that you chose this branch. 
So these were few of the positive points for pulmonary medicine, the main positive points I would say. So now let's talk about the cons for this branch. The first con which I feel is that because it is a specialty branch, so you'll primarily be dealing with respiratory cases and not much of the other systems. So if you are someone who will not be content with seeing similar kind of cases every day and wants a wider variety of cases, then this branch might not be the best for you. The second con which I feel during residency can be the hectic nature of the branch, especially in emergency duties, especially during winter and rainy seasons. Because in these seasons, the breathlessness of patients get exacerbated and they land up in emergencies. So emergency duties are also there where you'll not be able to sit for even a second, handling multiple critical cases uh, at the same time, intubating and shifting to ICUs and taking care of everyone can feel a bit hectic and a taxing on mind as well. The third con which I feel can be the emotional challenges in this residency as the majority of the diseases of respiratory origin be it ILD, COPD, bronchitis, asthma are chronic in nature and you will be seeing that patient for a long period of time so you get attached and build a rapport with that patient but seeing an ILD patient slowly dying because their lungs are fibrosed and you just cannot supply any more oxygen or seeing a COPD patient dying from sudden respiratory arrest can be emotionally challenging and taxing on the mind so be careful of that and the final con which I feel is the risk for infection exposure is always there as you are working in a respiratory setup with multiple respiratory disease and tuberculosis. So you will always feel that you are at a higher risk. But I feel ki because you know that you are in a more risky environment, mein ho, so you tend to take better care and more cautious approach and make your health your priority as well. So that is a con I feel but you can circumvent it by taking proper care of yourself. These were some of the main pros and cons of respiratory medicine according to me. Now who should pick this branch and who is this branch best suited for? If you are someone who likes medicine but also likes to do intervention and procedures and want to do those in future and combining the two then this branch will be well suited for you and you will be happy and content with it. In the end I'd just like to say that respiratory medicine is not a well explored branch and students do not know the limitation and the opportunities this branch has to offer. I was in a similar boat last year and I didn't know that what this branch has to offer and what branch is in this But after working for 8 months, I'd say that I'm happy with the choice I made and it's a beautiful branch if you want to explore it further. And you will not be disappointed and you will not regret if you take this branch as your career option. So with this, I'd like to end this video and all the best for everyone for the counseling process. And I hope that this video gave you guys some more clarity about respiratory medicine as a branch and it will help you make better decision in the future. If you have any doubts, comment down below in the comment section or feel free to reach out to me. Follow, like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.